Hello everyone, uh, this video is going to be a little bit different, but I wanted to detail a unique one-shot campaign that I made. So, this idea all started when my wife and I were out for New Year's, and our friend was saying how much they wanted to play a pirate D&D character. Somewhat as a joke, I asked if they wanted to play a D&D one-shot as a pirate on an actual boat. Uh, she was very enthusiastic about this idea, and we agreed that this could be a birthday gift for her. So I had my foundation. This was to be an aquatic themed adventure for someone's birthday. I decided to do something that you never really get to do in D&D and make them the main character. Uh, the rest of the players would make up their trusted crew. So I started looking at lots of pirate, you know, pirate themed media, um, books, movies, stories, um, and eventually settled on the idea that this was going to be a treasure hunt. Since the birthday girl wanted to be a swashbuckler rogue, that gave me a starting point to jump in. Since rogues get their second subclass ability at level 9, I decided to put the characters at this level. I looked at appropriate monsters, villains, creatures uh, to make the boss of this treasure hunt so that I could theme the rest of it. And as much as I really wanted to use a kraken, uh, it was simply just too high of a level to use. So I settled on the merit, an evil djinn and decided that the treasure came about when a wealthy merchant had a ship full of gold when he came across a genie. Deciding that he already had the wealth, he wished for fame, so the Marid sunk him to the bottom of the ocean, attaching his name to a mythical treasure that pirates would search for for centuries. Since most of these players had little to no D&D experience before, I wanted to make all of the characters pre-generated. As this would be played on a boat, I also wanted to list out all of their abilities so we didn't have to risk damaging any books. I came up with a handful of character concepts with aquatic theme subclasses and gave them each a role name like the healer or the muscle. This allowed the players to know at a glance what the character was and how they worked while still allowing them to name themselves. So I came up with these characters. I set about typing up each character's racial and class abilities then gave them, gave them a small smattering of magical items for fun. I mostly used the Dungeon Master's Guide and a third-party book called the Griffin Saddlebag for this. This was no easy task, especially for the spellcasters. Unfortunately, due, the, due to the complexity of the character and my own procrastination, I had to cut the druid character so I could complete everything else. After typing everything up, I printed them out and put them in plastic sheet protectors. I rounded out the encounters by starting with a rival pirate trying to stop them, a ghost ship crewed by skeletons with a minotaur skeleton miniboss, and then added in some role-playing and skill encounters, such as a stowaway that they could deal with, and a storm. It's finally time to play. The day of the campaign, we woke up at my family's lake place and had a hearty breakfast before suiting up in pirate gear. Hats, coats, and temporary tattoos aplenty. We set out on the pontoon and found a nice spot to anchor before starting to play. It was a beautiful day and some of the players would jump into the water after taking their turn just to cool off. We got about half to two thirds of the way through the campaign before we just decided to take a boat ride and then finish the rest of the one shot back at the cabin after dinner. The evil Merid was slain by a critical hit from the barbarian and the treasure was found. All of the players were really engaged and having them at a higher level gave them a much bigger tool set with lots of options to play with. Having the abilities written out was a huge help and we even used dry erase markers on the plastic sheets for marking things down. Overall, this was a blast. I had a ton of fun running it and the players told me how much fun they had playing it. So thank you for watching this. Uh, what's the coolest place you've ever played D&D? Uh, let me know in the comments. If you're looking for more uh, TTRPG content, you can drop a like and subscribe, then go watch Legacy of the Jedi, a five-part Star Wars campaign right here on my channel. Bye!